Hi friends, welcome to discussion of the first day of mains answer writing program. I hope every one of you have attempted the question. If not, please pause this video, attempt the question and watch the video. We are starting the discussion of answer writing. Before attempting the answer, it is very important to understand how to attempt an answer. The core of getting score in the mains depends upon not just the content. Content is always the king. Do not forget that. Then second thing is how you attempt the question. Here there are certain aspects. First, identify how many parts are there in the question. These things looks to be simple. But however, people tend to forget these things in hurry during the exam hall. So identify how many parts are there. This is the first part and this is the second part. Explain the concept of recombinant DNA with an example and examine applications of genetic engineering. Then third thing is identify the question tags. So here the question tag is explain and the examine. Let me tell you guys. There are certain question tags like examine or critically examine. Then critically evaluate evaluate and then uh, analyze or critically analyze then comment so these are the certain question tags that are higher in nature okay highest priority then second level is discuss explain so these things can be at the second order. Then at the first order, you have what, elaborate, mention, these are the third level. So what is the difference? You can also add here justify as well. So here in this question or list down. In these areas, there is no analysis aspect is present. You are just stating the facts. Here, it can also be short note. Here analysis is somewhere less than the third aspect. This is a second. Here, the analysis is at higher level. So, you have to provide proper analysis. When they tell you, examine, evaluate, analyze the potential or else analyze, like the question it was asked, examine the applications of genetic engineering in agriculture. You have to present proper analysis of the content that is provided. So, this is the higher order keyword. Now, this way you are able to mold the existing content you have. This is the first thing that will, you will get. And the second thing that you have to understand is when there are two parts in the question, which part should be given more weightage? See here, here it is explained and here it is examined. So I will give around 40% to this one and 60% to this one. Or sometimes a little bit 40, 50. But if the question is what? What in here in the question, if they are asking you what is the concept of recombinant DNA, then I will write only 25 percentage. Okay, and then I will give more weightage to this question. So this is the very important aspect that you need to keep in mind while doing the answer writing. So you have to practice this and I'm sure most of you are unaware of these things. Next aspect that you need to know is three components of the answer. So let me do this thing here. There are three components of the answer. So one thing is introduction, body and conclusion. So how I would write the introduction? The introduction, I'll use definition Concept explanation. Historical context. Or any current affair.
okay or anything which does not fit here okay so sometimes two concepts will be there okay a kind of dynamic introduction can be created here i'll explain when the such question comes then in the body you need to bring headings for suppose in this question in this question explain the concept of recombinant dna can you see here guys so i'm explaining the concept and then uh, example it is mentioned then the second part applications of genetic engineering in agriculture this is the what the question is asked applications of genetic engineering in the agriculture so i will use the concept of recombinant dna as one heading and then applications of genetic engineering as another heading in agriculture like this i'll keep the boxes always pick up the main headings of the box from the question only okay please note these things and then you will write things in the point format like this you will write four five points like this okay then conclusion what should be the conclusion i'll write a kind of it can be a summary but summaries are not much helpful they don't look that good but summary can also be done generally they are done okay mostly the better thing is to present a kind of way forward a kind of uh, a kind of suggestion way forward or suggestion like we will discuss these things all these things how it is applied in every answer writing thing we will discuss i hope these things are clear please note these things or memorize understand these things do not memorize understand these things and apply these things now let's get into the answer discussion now question is explain the concept of the recombinant dna with an example so i'll explain the concept i'll directly get into the explaining the concept Reco so introduction always should establish some kind of context when i go from introduction to the body it should not look like a kind of jump so that's the purpose of the introduction please remember you should not feel disconnected when reading the introduction and the body now i'll see i'll start here recombinant dna is a dna strand that's artificially made by combining two or more genetic sequences the resulting dna molecule is then inserted into the host organism to create a new genetic combination so i have given the definition what is recombinant dna so basically you have one desired gene okay let's say this is one desired gene and you want this desired gene in a, another organism so you will insert this desired gene from one type of the species or any other organism to this gene and finally this this organism which does not have this designed gene it's get integrated here and this whole process is called the rdna this is what it's saying okay and here the explanation has been the, uh, given in the diagrammatic format now if i get, get into this concept here see i'll uh, since it is asking you the concept which is a broad thing this concept includes what are the tools that are used and what is the role of vector and what are the steps that are involved here so all these things are uh, i have incorporated in the answer so let me tell you guys <clears throat> so we have today gm crops you might have heard about bt cotton you might have heard about the way insulin is produced or suppose we all know humans are facing problems of diabetes which can be regulated using the naturally producing hormone from the pancreas in the human being that is called insulin but for some people the insulin gets defective now they need insulin but how can we generate so much of the insulin what we do is now we will take gene from the human and we put this gene in the bacteria and this bacteria will multiply once it gets multiplied so much of the in now this gene this bacteria will produce the insulin and so many bacteria are there we will take up this insulin and we will give to the human so this is the application and this whole process is the recombinant dna this bacteria which is now able to produce insulin because of the gene that is getting from the human being so foreign gene humans gene is entered into the bacteria so this is the concept now can you see here guys foreign dna and this is a vector dna okay uh, so from here now this dean first 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 dna has to be cut i should cut the dna so how would i cut them 
okay we don't use the scissors here those things are called the restriction enzymes the cutting process is done through restriction enzymes here also cutting has to be happened where i am actually sending this thing so here i have done the cut and here i have done the cut and then this part whatever the part that i have cut okay i'll put this here now see this thing is again joined using the ligages so these are the certain tools i'll tell you what is polymerase and then i'll put it in the bacteria how will i put this thing in the bacteria uh, so i'll use some kind of vector okay vector first identify the gene I'm telling you the steps. Then cut the gene. Simply, these are the things. Then I have cut the gene using this, uh, that enzyme. And then this gene should be kept in some kind of vector. For suppose, you might have heard about this malaria. Malaria is caused, caused by this parasite. Now, who is bringing this malaria to the human being? It is brought to the human being by mosquito. Here mosquito is actually acting as a vector to transfer that uh, problem or disease to the human being. So in the same way, in order to transfer the gene, we need a vector. That vector can be plasmid or virus also. Okay, so this is the concept. Now, once, uh, now I have to write these things only in the elaborate manners elaborate manner see here isolation of the dna is done then how i will do once i have identified the dna which is need to be transferred then i'll cut the dna okay then let's say this is the whole part of the dna and only this part is useful for me okay i'll cut here using this restriction enzymes and this rest of the part is not required for me so i need to separate so that separation is done through the gel called electrophoresis only this much is needed for the mains for the prelims you need more detailed things but here only this much now i have got this copy okay simple thing now i need so many copies of this thing like you go to the xerox shop to do the photocopy so in the same way here we have the polymerase chain reaction where you will get the multiple copies of this molecule this multiplication happens okay then you will take it to the area or host where you need to add okay here i'll go and i'll add this part here and this is called pasting here it is cutting okay the pasting is called ligation here ligation ligase is a kind of enzyme i hope you guys got the polymerase okay then it is inserted into the host then whatever the desired protein is there it will be produced like i mentioned about the insulin hormone in the bacteria once it is produced then i will take up this protein that is called the downstream processing now these are the seven steps that you need to keep in mind if they ask you what is a uh, recombinant dna technology so you have to use this tools roll up factor it is a direct question steps you have to reproduce example so i have given one example now you might have heard about the bt cotton what are we doing here bt is taken bt is a kind of gene that is taken from the bacteria which is nothing but the bacterium thuringiensis and we are placing it in the and we are placing it in a plant why because this is a kind of toxin when we put it in the plant you don't have to add pesticides if some pests try to eat this plant because of this bt toxin it will die it will happen only when digestion happens okay so pests will die in this way your cost of pesticides will come down so this is what we are using it in the bt cotton i hope the example is also clear okay this is what you need to write in the first part explain the concept of recombinant dna with an example there are multiple examples like the example which i mentioned about the insulin also okay guys then second part of the answer applications of the genetic engineering in the agriculture Okay, this is the concept biotechnology. Genetic engineering is one of the aspect of the biotechnology. So these are the applications: improving the yield, disease-free plant, fortification of the crops, reproduction, pest-resistant biofuels, enzyme generation, and the fermentation. Okay, this is the one way to use the diagram. And then when I am talking about the application, see here, guys. So first, what are the various applications that I can use it in the agriculture? Simply, you guys know where I can use it in the agriculture. Like first thing I have mentioned is a, in the pesticide. Okay, the role of um, pesticides can be reduced by using this 
BT, okay, not BT, biotechnology. For example, BT cotton. And the role of herbicides can also be re reduced. This is done in the GM mustard. Okay, a bar gene has been introduced. Okay, this will, uh, this will play the role of herbicide. Okay, this becomes, this makes the GM mustard herbicide tolerant. Okay, so this is the another example that you need to remember. Then there are also other applications by you by making this biotechnology. Like say, for suppose there is a called there is a concept called mycorrhiza biotechnology. By using this concept of mycorrhiza, mycorrhiza is a symbiotic relationships between the fungi and the plant root nodules. Okay, so because of this mycorrhiza, the plants nutrient absorption capacity will increase. Plant can also live in the acidic conditions and also difficult environmental conditions. So, the plant can be protected from both biotic stress. This is the biotic stress and also abiotic stress. Okay, like acidic conditions and all. So, see here the applications, the role of pesticides, herbicides, these things can be reduced. And uh, please know with these applications, you can also you, you can also increase the farmer's income. How do you increase the farmer's income? Okay, now using this BT, see here, can you see the success of the BT cotton? This is the one more important diagram. See here, the diagrams here, one diagram is this bar charts diagram. And another diagram is this graphical representation. So instead of using this some plain diagram, I would prefer to use more these kind of diagrams which are adding the more content value addition to my question. See here, because the cotton yield has increased after introduction of the BT cotton. Because of this thing, obviously, the incomes of the farmer will increase, right? And this is the one way for you to generate the, uh, generate the points. In the agriculture, I am thinking about the stakeholders. Who are my stakeholders? One is the, firstly the farmer. And another is the then government. Then we the people. Okay. So rest of the uh, people, whole country. Okay. Then environment and biodiversity. So all these aspects you can use to generate the points. Now see guys, we are importing oil seeds. I have given here point. The edible oil demand in India is 24.6 million tons in 2021. This is according to the government, while domestic availability is only 11 million tons. So more than 50 percentage we import and this is adding us huge importable. Now if you utilize this GM mustard technology, genetically modified mustard oil seeds, then import bill can be reduced. Government's burden can also be reduced. Governments also imports so many fertilizers. So this import subsidy, import bill will also reduce where the, the your crops are more efficient to utilize the fertilizers and they can also work with less fertilizer availability so this is also another thing and farmers income can also be increased now people can also get more nutritious crop you might have heard about this thing like say for suppose vitamin a is being added in certain rice varieties golden rice you might have heard about so like this we can we can also enrich various items with the uh, more iron enrichment because most of the people are facing anemia and now we can also make the crops drought and the flood resistant because of the increasing uh, vulnerability of India especially to the climate change like this I will be able to generate more points now how I will use this thing in the environment also one thing is to modify the algae to produce more fuel this is one way and second thing you might have heard about this thing Okay, so in the North India, this is a crop. Okay, during the harvesting, the far, uh, farmers are able to use, you able to harvest only this amount of the part. Later on, the rest over part that is there, they are burning it. And this is causing huge environmental pollution. Now, various research studies are going on GM wheat varieties. Now, if these things are introduced, then the farmers will be able to harvest all the part. Okay, there is no need of burning. So this thing will reduce the emission of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. 
So I have added the good number of examples here. So all these things are given. Certain things are not given here like GM mustard, mycorrhiza. So you can add it in, in the, from the discussion. See here guys, again the question is applications of the genetic engineering. Again the question here is examine. It is not saying just what are the applications. If the what are the applications that is being asked. So you I will stop my answer here. So this is, this will become one-sided answer. So that is to improving the soil quality, increase it, the water filtration, all these are the certain positive things. But however, genetic engineering also have also raised several issues. What are they? Okay. Uh, food safety. So I told you, Bt cotton, Bt has certain toxins. When pests eat those cotton, it will die. Now that is not a food crop, non-food crop. Cotton is a non-food crop. Le we we use mustard and later on we are also thinking of brinjal which got approval in 2010 itself now if we eat them don't we don't it affect us certain people say once we cook them during the cooking those toxin levels will be uh, reduced so it is not a problem but some people still say there is a food safety concerns now what happens we also know that india is considered as a kind of gene pool especially chhattisgarh itself has 22000 rice varieties now this thing can lead to the crop monopoly right uh, so one crop will be taking all the area so biodiversity can also be reduced now it can also lead to the problems of uh, legal dispute for suppose now the cotton production is yield is increasing okay cotton yield is increasing but for the next time to get this bt cotton you need seed now whoever is developing this seed that is monsantano they say you have to purchase the seed every time you cannot use the seed that is coming out of the crop plant next time we will use a technology called uh, terminator seed technology so the farmer again have to buy the seed so this will increase the input cost of the farmer this is again causing us some kind of problem it is again we are making it dependent on the the person who is doing the innovation or on the rich people so this can also compromise our agriculture sometimes it is also we also see that uh, ball worms are getting resistance they are able they are these pests are now getting resistance even to this bt cotton so this can also be a problem and this can also create divide between the small farmers and the uh, large farmers. This is the genetic divide. Means small farmers are not able to utilize this kind of technology. Only large farmers will be able to utilize. This is causing the gap between the rich and uh, uh, poor farmers. The MS Swaminathan has said the government should use genetic engineering only as a last resort. Even WHO has said that what the ability of the GMOs to escape and potentially introduce engineered genes into the wild population. So we do not know the long-term impacts. For now, only for the limited time period, we know this thing can increase the yield, uh, pest resistant and all, but we do not know long-term impact. You are playing with the act of nature. You are changing what is actually natural, uh, which is actually natural and bringing some kind of new modifications. You don't know what will happen after a few years. Okay, so this is also the WHO's concern. We have given positives and we have also given the concerns using these things. This will improve your answer. How do you, someone has asked me, how do I get the extra marks in the science and technology, 100 marks? Okay, how do I get this thing? I have got 60, 50. Okay, these are the two aspects. One thing is using this kind of right kind of diagrams and using of this some kind of substantiations. This will increase your marks. Please, you know these things. No, these are the very small things. They are, there is no rocket science in doing the answer writing. Do not get scared. This one answer itself has given you many things. Only thing is we need to practice. Now, see here conclusion. In the conclusion, I have given two paragraphs. You can use it one paragraph. In the conclusion, I am giving a kind of suggestion. Biosafety issues should be addressed at the, all the stages and development and release the GM cross on case-to-case -case basis. Technology is always required. Okay, we have to release it on the case-to-case -case basis. Proper robust study should be done before the introduction of the crops. We are saying it has to be done. Never say technology is bad. We should not do that. Don't be that. Have a progressive mindset. Okay, now this way I'm giving the suggestions and concluding my answer. So my suggestion is concluding. You can also see this environmental resettlement and all. So you can use these things anywhere in the answer conclusion. So I have given the enough content and also the methodology to do the answer writing i hope you understood this content whoever have understood this content they can skip and leave this video i am trying to provide the additional information for the people 
who have struggled to understand the content <clears throat> because the concept of rdna is based on the technology based on some basic concepts we will try to discuss these basic concepts now whoever is interested can listen others can skip the video next so first let me come to this basic concept the, all these things are present in the material guys so we know every human being has cell cells have there are trillions of the cell within the cell there is a nucleus this acts as a brain okay within this nucleus you have these chromosomes and within these chromosomes you have the dna and on this dna you have the genetic information so every cell has these three things on the dna you have the genetic information so this is a very important aspect how are we able to combine two dnas in the rdna okay how are we able to club do th these two things okay this is because let's say you when you are doing when when you are doing some kind of construction when both the blocks are similar only if you will be able to do if not you will not be able to do because mostly all the organisms genetic structure is in the form of dna only because of this thing our dna is possible only few organisms are based on the rna concept only few viruses have the rna or else all the organisms 99 percentage of the organisms genetic material is in the dna that's why our dna is possible please understand this concept now coming back to the concept we have the cell trillions of cell in our body and within the cell you have the brain which is called as a nucleus within the nucleus you have the chromosomes on the chromosomes you have the dna how does the dna looks like so this is the dna double helical structure can you see guys here cell within the cell nucleus and double helical structure called the um, <clears throat> uh, this uh, dna so actually in this nucleus you have the chromosome on these chromosomes this double helical structure is called the dna now another important point this dna is made up of the three components what are these three components phosphate group sugar and a nucleotide nucleotide okay this three things together is called the dna nucleotide means this atc a a c t g or else a t c g base pairs okay this is called the nucleotides <clears throat> okay see you guys here now this is this nucleotide base pair and this is the sugar group and this is the phosphate group <clears throat> now when you are combining these two dna's so like this, these base pairs. Now, can you see here? This is a vertical, this looks like ladder, right? This is a double helical structure. This is like a ladder. And this is the steps which you will take. So now when we go to the DNA, now this part, this part, this part, okay? Uh, all these are the having, carrying some genetic information. What is the gen genetic information? Like what kind of body shape? What kind of hair color? Okay, what kind of uh, memory you will get? What kind of cells you have? what kind of organs you develop, all these things are a kind of programs that are stored in the genetic information. Now, this whole thing can be a kind of one particular information. This whole thing can be one particular information. This can be X, this can be Y, coding to the different things. Every, uh, every gene is coding different things. Now, this is whole part is the DNA and on the DNA, every aspect is coding different things. There can be certain other aspects also on the DNA, which is the non-genetic in nature. Okay, please remember this thing. Okay, this is the non-genetic nature and this will be used to identify <clears throat> the parent, uh, the DNA fingerprinting. Identify wow, who the person is. Okay, this is unique to every person. Okay. So now, see here, you have this DNA. Within this DNA, you have the genetic information. Now, you might have also heard about this genome mapping. Now, genome mapping is nothing but, okay, all these are the X, Y, Z. Let's understand this. This is the X. Another this thing is a Y. And another this thing is a Z. Coding for the different things. Okay, there is this is the code for a different thing. Let's say this is for the hair. This is for your organs. This is for your body color. All these things. When you do the sequencing, which gene is providing what kind of feature? That is called genome sequencing. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys understood what is the genome sequencing. Now I want some additional feature. Let's say this is the plant and I want a plant which is, which is not adding any kind of tox, uh, which is adding a toxins, BT cotton. Okay. Which is becoming the pest resistant. 
now i will make a code i will find out that particular gene from an organism and i will integrate that organism here this integration this is called the recombinant dna technology and this is possible because all the organisms are made up of the dna i hope uh, this concept is clear so far now see here another point i wanted to add this is again cell and within the cell you have the nucleus and within the nucleus you have the chromosomes within the chromosomes you have the dna and dna on the dna you have the genetic code called the genes now on the outside you have the ribosomes from cell nucleus to outside here see here okay the information has to be passed this ribosomes are responsible for manufacturing of the proteins this is called the gene expression okay so you have this kind of genetic coding only when this is expressed let's say you have white color phase or black color phase only when this is expressed this is called the uh, expression of the gene for this to happen protein has to be manufactured and protein manufacturing is done through the ribosome see this way from dna the information has to go to the ribosome to manufacture the protein now who will transfer this information from dna to the ribosome which is present outside the nucleus then here you have the rna from dna the information gets copied to the rna and then it is translated to the ribosome so this is called transcription and this is called translation okay now the rna which is doing this trans tra transition is called transcription is called messenger rna and here the ribosome which is reading this information is called r rna and also to build the protein various blocks like amino acids are required and all these amino ac acids are brought by t rna i hope these concepts are clear and these concepts understanding is very important because let's say you have some kind of gene which is creating a kind of health concern for you like or it is causing some kind of cancer or sickle cell anemia so i can simply block this mrna from uh, from converting it to the going to the ribose and finally becoming the gene expression so simply i'll do the blocking of of this mrna okay or i'll just simply modify the gene so there are various things but all these concepts are based on this concept of the dna technology okay these are the very simple simple things uh, that we study in the prelims and understanding and revising of these concepts are very important for us to answer the questions in the mains i tried my best to understand me teach you these concepts apart from this thing we also have certain uh, um, regulatory bodies to ch to monitor or regulate the genetic engineering technology see here the recombinant they can ask you direct question explain how elaborate what are the various regulatory bodies that are present in india in the genetic engineering area or in the biotechnology so you all guys know ministry of environment and forest under it you have the uh, geac you guys know all this geac but but these things you might not be knowing institutional biosafety community review committee all these are the three important committees which gives the approval for which approval let's say you have done any kind of you have come up with a new concept new kind of genetically modified crop gmo for that approval should be given by any of these three bodies once the approval is given the monitoring is done by this district level committee and the state biotechnology coordination committee let me tell you guys it is headed by the district magistrate okay if you become is officer or if you become the collector later on okay you might get the possibility that you can chair this district level committees hmm. apart from this there are all the various other ministries uh, that are involved in the biotechnology so these are the various acts that play the role in regulating the gm crops in india have this idea and these things can be helpful for you in giving the proper conclusions and also in the suggestions i i'll try to keep my discussions in the future also in the same way first i will explain the question i'll try to make you understand how to attempt the question 
and then i'll also try to provide concept behind the question in as detailed manner as possible you guys can also uh, subscribe to only watching this program discussion videos which includes daily this answer rating and whatever the answer rating discussions i take for this paid answer rating module and also the essay so both together only for watching discussion videos it will be 1500 rupees per month along with this synopsis material guys okay. uh, if you guys like this video please uh, share it with your friends also that's all guys i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and uh, value has been added to your existing content thank you guys bye bye study well